Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Sorry, my dog's down here. Uh, she's very afraid right now because it's storming outside and she doesn't like the big bad storms. Anyways, hello the people of the web. My name is Mary Angel 234 and welcome back to another video. <laughs> Anyways, happy Pride Month to all my LGBTQ community out there. <laughs> I am so happy that we are able to like be in more of the, an acceptable society like it's not perfect obviously it's not perfect but we're getting places and at least there's more people that are like all right you right there you're pretty cool even though you like things that i don't you're pretty cool and i am so happy about that Anyways, so like this is going to be me as a marketing major looking at rainbow capitalism. And before we get into that, I have like this little uh, this little sheet right here that I just want to like read off what Pride Month is and why we're cele we celebrate it in America. We celebrate it in the month of June. Um, so Pride Month honors the 1969 Stonewall Inn, uh, also known as Stonewall. Uh, the uprising that captured media coverage of the LGBTQ plus struggle for civil rights and catapulted the LGBTQ plus movement to a new level. In the early morning of June 28, 1969, eight officers from New York City Public Morals Division raided the Stonewall Inn, a popular gay bar in Greenwich Village. At the time, homosexuality was illegal in every state except Illinois. Uh, police would routinely arrest gay and queer people and shut down bars and restaurants for having gl glay. for having gay employees or serving gay patrons. The illegalization of homosexuality forced many gay establishments to uh, uh, operate without a liquor license, providing the opportunity for raids and police brutality to become a common occurrence. Tired of the constant police harassment and discrimination, Stonewall Inn bar patrons, staff, and local residents stood their ground on June 28, 1969, and res uh, resisted arrest and fought back against police op uh, oppression. Thousands returned to Christopher Street outside the Stonewall Inn and followed night the following night and thereafter at for a rebellious protest that lasted six days! Mm. Although LGBTQ plus activists have been organized since the 1920s, the media coverage of the uprising of Stonewall made LGBTQ plus struggle relatable and drew uh, support for those fighting for their rights. One year after Stonewall, the first Pride Week in March was formed and the Stonewall Inn became a national monument. That's just a little synopsis of why America, we have uh, our Pride Month in June and why a lot of people are celebrated in the month of June for being open about the sexualities or romanticisms because some people are a part of the ace spectrum and just have a romanticism and everything do, do, do. <laughs> anyways um i will preference this by saying not every company is a is a using rainbow capitalism to better themselves um but there are a lot of companies that use rainbow capitalism to better themselves. Uh, and that's just how it be. Because if you find something and you're like, that'll make me money, a lot of, a lot, a lot of companies will hop on that trend and do what they can so that they can make money off of any way they want to. Um, so what is rainbow capitalism? Rainbow capitalism is using the rainbow pride or pride in general, specifically the rainbow flag to gain money for your own benefit. Uh, so companies around June, everyone knows, will push out stuff for gay pride month. And not every time it's, it's malicious, but there are a lot of times when companies will push out things and be like, hey, 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 rainbow. And it's like, ah, to the... And we're like, ah, stop it! It doesn't even look good! Target, I'm talking about you! Anyways, so like there are companies like Target or Walmart that anything rainbow, they will push out and it's like, alright, gays, they like the rainbow. They they support the rainbow. We're gonna push this out there and um, just hopefully make a lot of money off of it. And a lot of the times the money that they receive don't even go back to the community of the LGBTQ plus people. Um, 
I know there are some places like Converse that will donate some of the proceeds to actually helping the community and like um, helping stop people from going to conversion therapies or people who are in bad in abusive situations get out of them or even just like give like giving the monies to um, places like hotlines that'll help in hopefully preventing more um, people from not offing themselves, to put it in a lesser term, I guess. Um, whenever you talk about rainbow capitalism, though, it is always like, okay, this company is doing a little too much to try and get themselves more money. So rainbow capitalism, what do I think and how uh, should we actually be handling it? So I do think rainbow capitalism can be seen in one of two ways. Either this company is really helping the cause and they are trying their best to like get merch out there so that they can give more back to the LGBT community. And it's like, hey, here, we know that you are LGBTQ+. Uh, we made this for you. Uh, if you want to buy it, we will give proceeds to help your guys' cause and we will fight for you. Um, but then there are companies that just see that other companies are making money off of products like this and they're like, give it, I'm go, I'm making my own money now. Give me, give me, give me, give me. And they're like, they're the Mr. Krabs of the, uh, of the companies, definitely. So, <laughs> you got, you got the people that are actually trying to help and the people that are just trying to help themselves, which happens in majority of situations. It happens to like everybody, but like when you're talking about a group that, like a huge group at this point, not to mention, a group that is like just trying to have love be love, and you're like, I'm gonna try and make money off of these people because they're trying to be more open about themselves and trying to get, trying to feel more appreciative. That is. Gosh, I'm gonna beat these people up. I'm gonna catch these hands, that's all I have to say. And you can kind of tell what side a company will be on depending on where their funds go. So like if they just keep all the money to themselves or they do give it to charity or like even who's on their staff team. If there is nobody that is like of queer nature on their staffing, then like, they probably don't care about the LGBTQ plus community. Sometimes you do get places where they are more... Well, we accidentally hired a bunch of straight people. What the heck do we do now? <laughs> it does happen. Not everyone's open about their sexualities or romanticisms. I understand that. Um, but it's kind of... If, if everyone's like... Look like the exact same like kind of copy pasted bunch of people then they're obviously probably not caring and they're they're just wanting yes men and people that agree with them and how they look and how they feel which uh <laughs> that's a big ol' yikes you should have people that are like different in at least some way to get at least better ideas from a marketing standpoint it's very dumb of you to have copy and pasted people Get some variation with you. I'm talking to you now. People are who have businesses. Shame on you for getting like copy and pasted these people. Like get get a little out there. Get someone who's queer. Get someone who's a person of color. Get someone who's like just a little bit zany. You gotta you gotta have somebody in there that has like other ideas than what you're putting out. You can't just have this one same thing over and over and over again and hope that that works. Like, I understand there are some people that, like, they do, like, they do consistently do the same thing because they don't want to anger anybody that might be out there. But it's like, you, here's the thing. You look at, here, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm a little all over the place with this video, but I just need to, need to get this out there. But, like, you wouldn't use the same packaging you would use from the 1920s today. It doesn't have the same ring, it doesn't have the same tone. There's a lot of slang that like we don't use anymore or now use. It's so stupid 
to keep the same things over and over and over again in hopes that they keep on working. You have to keep improving yourself. You have to keep improving your business. And if that means getting new people, new ideas into your establishment, then go for it. Do that because it's fun. Especially since you get to meet all these like different kinds of people. And it's so interesting to just learn. You know? How about instead of talking, you sit down and you learn, huh? How about that? Ha? Huh? Hmm? Hmm? Anyways. <laughs> Sorry about that tangent. So, I would, I would suggest, so, overall, rainbow capitalism, I don't think is the best idea. Sure, if you wanna, if you wanna buy something to show your pride colors, no one's stopping you. No one's saying like, hey, you can't do that because you're going against the LGBTQ community. No, it's your life, you do what you want to. Just know that sometimes what you do may affect the community in more, in a more negative way. You can, you can buy that that rainbow shirt that you've always wanted because you really want to have something that represents you and what you're into um or just show your support but just know that it might not help the community and it might be a hindrance rather than a help aka maybe next year instead of buying from like i don't know target <laughs> looking at you target instead of buying from target you should uh, buy from somebody on Etsy who makes, who is a queer person and makes their own stuff. Sure, it might be a little more expensive, but you're literally getting something from somebody who is of the same mindset. Um, but you're also like helping them out to like hopefully get their dream or their business rolling so that they can live a more financially stable life. Because even though it is counted as discriminatory uh, to not hire somebody based on their sexuality or based on like their romanticisms, it does happen. And a lot of the times you can't prove it. I, I, it happens a lot more than people think it does. And it's so upsetting. <sighs> Anyways, I know that like, People just want stuff to show their support or show that they are of like, hey, uh, look, I'm gender fluid or I'm trans or I'm gay or I'm lesbian, asexual, demiromantic, intersex, anything. Like, there's so many flags <laughs> under the sky and sometimes you might not find what you're looking for because a lot of... Um, that's another thing that you might not need to look out for is uh, sometimes there are places that just sell rainbow. I know Target is a little more at least like you could find pan, bi, asexual, and then gay. I think they also have agender, but I can't remember if they do or don't. But like they sell like at least more than just the rainbow flag, but if you look at places like Walmart and they just have stuff that is rainbow, and it's not even stuff that's pride related, it's just rainbow. It's kind of like a punch to the face a little bit because it's like you're ignoring so many other people that are in this community who are just trying to live their life as best and as great as they can and you're just completely ignoring them. It's not something that you want to do, it's not something you want to be known for. <sighs> but just make sure that like you are looking into a company before maybe buying from them, especially during Pride Month. Because a lot of the times there are just companies, especially bigger companies, that are putting this stuff out there um, to make money. And that's, that's the end of it. Anyways, the people use the web. I know like a, there's been a lot of people, not particularly on YouTube, specifically on my TikTok, who've been questioning me and my own um, sexuality and just romanticisms in general. And just know I am part of the Alphabet Mafia. I'm not ready to come out yet. I'm not probably going to come out anytime soon, or at least not until I feel like I'm in a safer environment to do that. Um, because sometimes 
You just might not be ready. You might not feel like people will understand what you're feeling. And especially like the place that you're living, if they're unaccepting of who or what you are, it might not be the best of times to come out. Uh, but if you guys want to take a guess in the comments section, I am under a couple different flags, I will tell ya. Um, let me think. I think like four flags are the ones that I specifically go under. Yeah, like four. <laughs> so if you want to try and guess in the comments down below, it'll be a fun little game between us. <laughs> try and guess MK's sexuality or romanticisms, or whatever else you want to try and guess. Um, I will give you a hint, I'm not a lesbian. A lot of people keep thinking that, and I am not a lesbian. Anyways, I really do hope that Pride Month treats every one of you well. I can't wait to see all the hate comments on anything that I do for the next month, because that's going to be a thing, and I know it'll be a thing. But, like, I'm here to try and, like, get people out of this. If you can't understand somebody else for loving, then you're not somebody that I care to associate with. And that's that. Anyways, the people of the web, I really hope that you do have a lovely Pride Month this month, and at the very least, if you need somebody to talk to, my DMs are always open. I try to get and respond to everybody that I can. Um, but if you do want to catch up with me, I will try and post more stuff uh, on YouTube. I'm not sure if any more will be like pride related this month, but we'll see what happens. Um, I do have some stuff on TikTok that is going to uh, upset some homophobes, specifically to do with uh, <laughs> a ship that I have. And I can't wait for you guys to be like, mmm. Because, <laughs> like, it's. I'm an interesting person. Okay, okay, stop rambling. Anyways, the people use the web, please like, subscribe, and comment on any of my videos. And I really do hope that you have a wonderful Pride Month. And goodbye, the people use of the web.